guys, it's your girl, Lashes Tony X. Oh, all right. So the first thing, let's talk about. You can never have enough Morphe spray. I always buy a backup of this. This is the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Um, as you can see, I have not opened this one. This is something that I, I will probably continuously purchase. Um, I really do like this uh, setting spray. I feel like it keeps my makeup lasting all day. And it's a very, very light. It doesn't have a smell to me or anything. So I do enjoy that. I'm really excited about this because you guys know I have pore issues. I was checking out at Ulta and I saw this e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. And I know it has been compared to the Tatcha um, Primer. A lot of people say it is and some people say it isn't. I don't know. I've never tried the Tatcha one and I've never tried the e.l.f. one. So if this helps, you guys, it is only eight bucks. I'll be so excited. So, I'm going to let you guys know how I feel about it. If, you, if you've if you tried this, let me know. But, yeah. So, this is like... I'm excited. Really excited about that little product. Okay. So, I've heard Witch Hazel was really good for a toner. So, I picked up this. As, let me see if I can pronounce this right. Thayer's. T-H-A-Y-E-R-S. Thayer's. Um, it's supposed to be a Witch Hazel aloe vera formula alcohol free and i love lavender and this one is in the lavender scents and i know they had a couple of different scents so i'm gonna try this as a toner i have been having a lot of breakouts lately but i think it's a combination of trying like i have like six new foundations trying new foundations out and being a little bit lazy with my skincare lately so let me know if you've tried this. I'd be curious to hear what you guys think about it. Um, okay, another pore, e.l.f. pore primer that I picked up was the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer Prime on the Go. Um, it looks like this, um, and this was like only $5. So I was super curious about it. Um, I did open it just to kind of see what the texture's like. It feels like a lotion-y silicone, if that makes sense. Like the color, there is a little bit of color, I but more of this Smashbox one, that silicone-y feel. So I probably won't love this one, but I'll give it a go and see. Five dollars, you know, whatever. If it if it doesn't work for me, I can pass it on to somebody else. You know, we'll see. Um, now this I picked up from Ulta, if you can see it, you get um, 5.0 um, ounces, what am I saying, grams? No, it's 142 grams, 142 grams and 5.0 ounces, it's pretty ginormous, probably like this, I don't know, it's just a huge tube of um, face cleanser, so um, Heather was telling me that the one she had stunk, so I'm really curious to know if it if it really does stink or if she just got a bad one. I can't smell any bad odor or anything. It actually doesn't, I don't feel like it has a smell, but um, maybe once you lather it up on, on your face or whatever, I might could smell it more. But I know Heather said she didn't like hers, but we'll go, we're gonna give it a try. I do love First Aid Beauty, so. Then I picked up this, which I've been dying to try. Too Faced, damn girl. I just love saying that. Um, this is, um, it's a really, really big, chunky wand. So, if you're not good with mascara, you might not prefer this type of wand. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I, in my last live, I think, I said I don't buy things for the packaging. You guys, I bought this for the packaging. I mean, it, it's, it's freaking adorable. Look at it. It's so, like. I don't know it's so glamorous it, i love how chunky it is and it's sparkly and i'm excited to play with this mascara. So i did go ahead and pick up two of these these were on sale from the 21 days of beauty and this is the uh precise my brow pencil by benefit these were only 12 bucks each which is the same price if not cheaper than the mini so I was like, girl, if you don't pick two of these up, you are crazy. So I picked up two different colors because I, I tried both colors in store. They were super, super similar. So I just went ahead and picked both. 
So I got 2.5 and 3. I'll show you what 3 looks like. So this is what the packaging looks like. Making sure I got it on the right way. Um, just going to swatch it for you guys. So this is number 3. This is supposed to be the darkest one. So that's what that one looks like. Number 3. Which I feel like is good for blondes. If you like a little depth. Or if you, um, you know, have brown hair. But this one right here is definitely for blondes. It's called Natural Blonde. It's 2.5. And I really, to me, this honestly looked like a taupe. You can see how similar those are. So this one is 3, and this is 2.5. So, yeah. So I just went ahead and picked both of them up. I could even use both, one for the front and one for the back of the tail, however I want to do it. Or if I'm doing somebody else's makeup, I like to have like a different uh, pencils on hand. So, I'm excited. I got it on sale. Can't beat that, guys. They're like, what, $20-something dollars a piece regularly, and then there were $12, and I was like, um, yes, please, I'll take two. I almost got more, but I was like, girl. Ulta was having a sale on their Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Eye Pencils. I picked up every color I've ever wanted. So, yeah. I'm going to swatch them and show you what they look like. Alright, so the one I wanted the most. Let me see if I can find it. Bourbon. So, the one I wanted the most was bourbon. If you want to know why I wanted bourbon so, so bad. It's because all... Samantha March talks about is bourbon and she wears this in her waterline a lot and we have the same eye color well hers are green but mine honestly pulls green and sometimes pulls blue today it's really pulling blue but this is it it's bourbon it's just a very warm brown I would say um, I'm really excited to wear this like today would be a really pretty I'm not use this today let's try this out and I love, like, this is the only eyeliners I will put in my waterline because I have the most watery eyes on the planet. And if I put something else in my waterline, I will literally start crying. Like, it will just hurt. These just glide on so beautifully. They were like, I want to say they were less, maybe they were 11 bucks. They were so cheap. So I was like going through all of them. Yeah, I really love bourbon. It, it just, it looks like my color. So I picked up this one. I'm most excited about bourbon. I can't get it back in the packaging. I think, I could be wrong, but I think I picked up two bourbons because I was just really excited about it. Yes. I have two bourbons, so I'm not going to open this. I might put this in a future giveaway or I might use it myself. So I'm not going to open that one. Another one I was really excited about is called Gold Mind. Gold Mind. And the reason why I picked this one up is because I just bought the brand new Urban Decay Honey Palettes. And I'm going to, I think I want to do like a get ready with me or something doing that. Or a tutorial. And I thought this would be so pretty in the waterline because it is so, it just, it looks like honey to me. So... That's what it looks like. It looks like honey. I think this is going to be perfect with that eyeshadow palette. So I'm really, really, really excited that I found it. There was one left. And I was like, please be there. Please be there. Um, and the last one I picked up was another one I've always wanted. This one, again, Alkaline. Pretty sure um, this one's from the um, Na Urban Decay Naked Heat. And it has a very, like, um, red tone. Um, so I'm excited about that one as well. So those are all the ones I picked up in store. Really got some good deals, you guys. Really excited. Now I'm going to show you the stuff that I got online. I just want to give a shout out real quick. Sophie. Sophie, if you're watching, hey. Also, Jasmine, if you're watching, hello. How are you girls? If I spent enough money um, online for pure cosmetics, which I did. You have to spend a certain amount of money. 
you get this cute little bag and it's got like little glitters in it um, and then inside the bag is a bunch of goodies so what I'm gonna do is actually put this in my weekly Saturday shop my stash Saturday weekly giveaway so honestly make, the main thing I bought from pure were lashes their lashes were on sale like so hard I just I, I went super ham don't make fun of me I think I have three of each so I have two socialites um, they look like this maybe I'll open it just I'll open one of each to show you what they look like but I did order one two three four five six seven eight packs of pure lashes because they were on sale for like 12 bucks a piece when I think they retail for $20 or something like that so I definitely like was like uh, yes please you guys know I'm a lash queen I love my lashes I have to have them this is socialite so basically socialite they're gonna be smaller like right here and then they're gonna flutter out so that is what socialite looks like so I picked up two socialites this one and this one got two of those bad boys so I have three divas and I'll show you what diva looks like I feel like diva out of all three if you're looking for a natural pair from pure because they are pretty a reasonable price and they do last a long time um, if you want a more uh, simple look that I feel like anyone can wear get the diva they're smaller you can tell they're a lot more natural looking so these are divas and I got three pairs of divas two pairs of socialite and the last ones I got are bombshells so these two are closed and this one's open I haven't worn bomb bombshell yet but it's kind of that same thing as socialite but I think these may be a little bit I think these are the biggest ones out of all three so they're like smaller on the end and then they flutter out but I feel like they're the most you know all these lashes <laughs> From the 21 Days of Beauty Ulta sale because, like, I love these so much. And that's why I got the free pure makeup bag. Girl. Girl. Two sponges from Royal Techniques. Haven't used them yet. I haven't opened them. But these are the new microfiber technology. And they're supposed to be for maximum powder pickup. So, I love to bake. And my favorite place to bake is like to get like a sharp line where my contour is also on the sides of my nose so I can really contour and highlight down that way it's something I kind of picked up from Babs Beauty she does it better than me but um you gotta watch how she contours it's like Aah. but I think this would be really good for baking so I got one for me and one for y'all so this is gonna go in my weekly giveaway as well so I'll show you the two I got for the weekly giveaways you know I don't forget about my girls so these are going in my shop my stash Saturday weekly giveaways make sure to tune in for that last but not least I picked up this this is the TARDIS um what is it called double it's like a double ended and it's in brown they did have black as well they offered black or brown and so you get this right here is the pencil i'll swatch it for you very creamy it's right here very creamy and brown you put it in your water line and then on the other side i love this one right here this one is a very a very deep brown that you can just do a wing line with so i picked up that as well that is everything I got from all to you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. I would totally appreciate it. If you're not subscribed, like I said, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you get notified for all future videos. Give um, I hope you guys have a great one and I'll talk to you guys later.